Now, Your Excellency, first as SG of ODM, I want to confirm that uh, we did receive communication from the Azimio Council directing that we write to each individual member of parliament in our respective parties. I want to confirm that I have dispatched 86 letters to the 86 members of the National Assembly elected on ODM and I'm sure my counterparts in the other affiliate parties are doing the same, uh, communicating the directive from the Council of Azimio that in fact all members of the National Assembly are to suspend any planned trips or any activities that would see them out of Nairobi for the duration of the consideration of the Finance Bill 2024. And that means from the date of tabling on Tuesday next week until a vote is taken. Now, last year, Your Excellency, you do remember that the coalition gave a position similar to the one that has, given, uh, that has been given this year again. Your Excellency, you will remember that we in ODM did undertake disciplinary proceedings against members of the party who either absconded or voted against the position of the coalition. But one of the problems that we are hoping to cure with the NADCO bills, Your Excellency, mm. is that immediately political parties initiate disciplinary proceedings against their members. They run to court and obtain court orders that then tie the hands of the political parties in terms of what they can do. So the biggest solution, in fact, Kenyans don't realize how powerful they are. We are getting feedback from members of the National Assembly from ODM that they can hear Kenyans. Kenyans are able to reach those members of the National mm. Assembly. And this is the biggest tool that you have as a Kenyan, somebody who has a vote. The regime does not fear Sifuna or any of us here. The regime fears the Mwanainchi, calling them directly to tell them that Chumachako Kimotoni, the way that uh, my <laughs> brother Eugene has said. The ultimate power is with the Mwanainchi. If you repeatedly violate the interest of the Mwanainchi, you must answer to the Mwanainchi. And lastly, Your Excellency, you know, one of the economic advisors has invited us uh, that uh, he doesn't think that digital activism leads to anything, uh, despite the fact that when the regime was harassing him last time, digital activism secured the release of David Ndi from police custody. Mm -hmm. Now he has invited us to uh, be a little bit more uh, touchy, if uh, I may, hands-on. <laughs> yes, he has invited it's us to contact. be a, a bit uh, uh, hands-on. Because he says uh, politics is a contact sport. <laughs> we have already established that he worships at Our Lady of the Rosary mm -hmm. in uh, <laughs> Roslyn. Mm -hmm. So we'll be joining him for Sunday Mass there, yes. uh, so that we are able to have, contact. Uh, have <laughs> contact with him uh, and explain to him that we are unhappy with some of the policies that he's pro promoting in this government. Thank you.